my dear friends nice to see you again uh, Moscow is so beautiful today so many flowers and the best flower is my friend Tanya nice to see you hello, hello. how are you oh, very wonderful because today is a great day Moscow day and Moscow is very young but very beautiful young you think yes. Moscow is young 800 yes. 875 years just, young just 75 but have a look wonderful beauty <laughs> beauty красавица like you and me and you let's go with us okay to <laughs> yes let's go and see some, something interesting uh, we celebrate yes today we celebrate the um, birthday of our wonderful city of moscow together with Tanya and a lot of friends of citizens and guests of our city Moscow is a multicultural and multinational city and it's really very crowded uh, today because all the people would like to congratulate Moscow yes I see you Tanya I thought I was lost. <laughs> Let's go. It's not a carnival, not Brazilian carnival. Just birthday of uh, Moscow. But we can do everything. Like we can do everything, yes. It's a delicious things there. You can buy very delicious things there. The smell of uh, lamb. I feel the smell of lamb. So the smell of lamb. Uh, Baranina. No, no. We have a little bit different pronunciations with with Tanya and sometimes we cannot understand each other but we try <laughs> my dear friends um, in my previous videos I promised you to show the heart of Moscow and the heart of Russia the most beautiful square in the world okay one of the most beautiful squares in the world red square and today we're together with my friend Tanya fulfill my promise and uh, your dreams because uh, red square is really one of the greatest sightseeing in the world and please try to write down your opinion about it after watching this video yes Everybody who wants to make their dreams fulfilled, stand here. This is zero kilometers, just in front of the main entrance to Red Square. What are you dreaming about? Can you tell me? <laughs> about peace everybody. about peace about love uh, about um, uh, friendship between all all countries and all all nations and what are you dreaming about could you tell us please uh, now please? right here and right now i'm dreaming not to be lost in in, a, in this crowd in red square so many people because uh, not uh, because like, a lot of people want to join this wonderful day the day of moscow let's join with us my dear friends oh my god to tell you the truth i don't know what masterpiece to start with what do you think my friend uh, uh, from the main side sink of moscow uh, the kazansky uh, cathedral it was founded in 1625 just have a look uh, i love Orthodox cathedrals. Every cathedral is like a masterpiece. And this one is like a big cake. Yes. Treasurer's box. Treasurer's box. A box with treasures. Let's go further. And I hope, my dear friends, all of you know already this long, long building that faces the Red Square. Hmm? Have you of any course. ideas? Of course, because we have already told you about this wonderful uh, main mall. Main mall. It's uh, uh, about 
Moscow State's uh, department store, one of the ancient, and it was founded, Marina, and uh, when it was it founded? 1893, I know it exactly. And you may watch our video about uh, shopping uh, inside this mall. This is also a masterpiece of architecture. I'd like to show you the atmosphere of Red Square. Holiday atmosphere, yes. Holiday atmosphere yes, for sure. Everybody was walking, speaking, talking, drinking coffee. Drinking coffee. In a very expensive cafes of Main Mall. Bosco. Bosco is the name of this cafe. And uh, let's have a look at this um... St. Basil's Cathedral. Oh, I see it, yes. When I was a child, you know, I'm from Siberia. And where were you born? Uh, in Moscow. In Moscow? Yes. You are the first Moscovity I know. Because <laughs> all of my friends are from Siberia. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay, when I was uh, 12 years old, I came uh, to the Moscow for the first time. And I was really shocked by this cathedral. Why? Because it's... Look at this. It's extremely unforgettable, incredible, and uh, I, I don't have words. Uh, so, uh, no one cathedral look like this cathedral, no one, it's just unique. Do you agree with me or not? For sure. Agree? Let's come closer and, and tell some words about this masterpiece. Oh, my dear friends, I'm already tired to cross the Red Square too big and long and uh, do you see a wonderful building like like a, a palace uh, behind me red building this is historical museum and the main entrance to Red Square is located there we are from there at last we are here not far from St. Basil's Cathedral and have a look at this Anya you will tell us some words about this masterpiece, St. Basil's Cathedral. Uh, it was founded in 1555 by architects Barma and Kosnik. Just according to the legend, they became blind. Because, wow, really? Yes, because our Tsar uh, Ivan Grozny didn't want them to build uh, uh, the same cathedrals in somewhere, somewhere else. in the world, yes. But it's only a legend, if yes, I remember it's, rightly. Uh, yes, it's only a legend, but um, we believe in this. And can you imagine that in this cathedral there are 11 churches? Oh, wow. I haven't heard about that. Eleven churches. So uh, uh, all we see. Um, maybe we can go around. What of do you think? Course, with pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I think it will be very interesting. To yes. Be with us. Yeah. And in front of cathedral, uh, do you see a monument of Minin and Pozharsky, a peasant and a prince, two heroes, two leaders of uh, the Russian. Poland war. Um, it was at the beginning of 17th century. Poland's. Do you remember our heroes? And a lot of excursions are here. Russian people are fond of learning our history, studying our history. So, 11 churches in one. They look absolutely different. Yeah. Can you agree with me? Yes. One style, but absolutely different uh, images. Shapes and, shapes images. and images, yes. Even colors. 
Mm. It's just like a box, box uh, for keeping treasures, in my opinion. And what do you think when you uh, are looking at this wonderful uh, church? Please uh, write for us, because it is very important for us to know your opinion. And my dear friends, you are always welcome to Moscow. I want you to see this, these masterpieces. And, and now let's talk a little bit about Kremlin itself. My dear friends, let's have a look at the Kremlin. It was built in uh, what century? What century? I think 16 or 15? Yes. 15 15 century, century. Yes. yes, yes, exactly. And the uh, length of the walls uh, of our Kremlin is approximately two and a half kilometers and width is about six and a half meters. Can you imagine? The width of the wall, you mean? Yes, uh, the, uh, the length and the width of the wall and uh, it was uh, founded uh, like the ancient building in Moscow, Kremlin. And uh, first of all, uh, before this, it was from wood and then it was uh, built uh, uh, like a stone building, very ancient stone building, uh, really very great. And I love this building, really. Yes. It's a symbol of Moscow, and the, uh, the clock strikes every half of the hour. Yes. And now I am waiting after four minutes for the strikes. Uh, another one fact, another one fact, it is, uh, you know, Lenin, you see. I know Lenin, for sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was born in, in 20th century, I know the leader of communist uh, yes, revolution. Yes, have a look at this uh, Lenin uh, mausoleum. Uh, let's come closer and see. Yes, let's go closer and can you imagine that uh, on the top of this building, uh, our leaders were standing and they were waving at the crowds of people. I think it's uh, not so, <laughs> so polite. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's not so polite that the body of Lenin is still not buried. He is still here. I've never visited uh, this uh, I mausoleum have, and have, you yes i have visited because mausoleum. you are moscovitis yes uh, <laughs> i was born in moscow and it was a little bit shocked the body was lying like this it was so horrible oh, don't show us don't show yeah, us like yeah. uh, like uh -huh. dead body <laughs> yes it's body and uh, the light uh it, to tell the truth it's not so interesting and uh, uh, outstanding uh, time there uh, I was born in Siberia and we don't have any mausoleums <laughs> in Siberia. Only polar bears, maybe. Polar bears? <laughs> Just That's a different so... kind of beauty. <laughs> yes, okay. Let's go further. And now I would like you to visit with us uh, Alexandrovsky Garden. Uh, this is a park situated uh, along one of the Kremlin wall and this is a sacred place the eternal fire and I see my friend Tanya and I would like to ask her what does she know as a Moscovity about this place of yes, eternal fire. It is the yeah. most sacred place for all Russian people because it is the eternal flame in honor of uh, unknown warriors uh, who sacrificed their lives for our freedom. And here we usually keep silence and remember all our uh, soldiers and uh, say them thank you very much for our lives, for our freedom, for future lives of our children. Let's keep silence and let's remember about them forever and ever.
there are a great number of different excursions in Moscow. I see the groups of tourists every weekend from different parts of our country, Russia. All Russians love and respect our history. Tanya left me because she had to go, but she said bye-bye to you. And I have time uh, to walk a little bit around the center. And I see McDonald's. That is not McDonald's now. Tasty and that's it. The same menu. Have you watched my video about the new McDonald's? You can find there all the information about menu, prices and everything. And I remind you that today we celebrate the day of Moscow and traditionally we celebrated um, two days, yesterday and today. And the main activities uh, were yesterday. I'm looking for something interesting to find you, but I hope that uh, real life of real people, common people, is also interesting for you. Here, uh... Moscow is a very green city. There are a lot of parks there and a lot of fountains. Of course, some of the fountains are not working now because it's autumn time, but these are very um, cozy, I would say, fountains. Um, these are Russian fairy tales, you know, the characters of Russian fairy tales. But I see some fountains are still are still working. I found out, my dear friends, that um, a lot of comments, not a lot, but some of comments are written, uh, comments to my videos, are written by, by haters. Dear haters, I would like to say that I'm very happy that you are with me. You helped me a lot to rise my channel. Be with me, please, and write more and more. I adore you. Yes, have a look at that. Prince and a frog. The characters of very popular Russian fairy tale. 
the frog is also a princess she will be a princess if he kisses her do you know such fairy tale and I'd like to show you the fountain with the with the monuments of horses My dear friends, have you already subscribed to my channel? I wait for you. It's very important and so valuable for me. When you subscribe to my channel and when you share the links and write me a comment, different comments, everything you want. I'm ready even to, <laughs> to cross this water line. Is this a beautiful fountain? What do you think? Okay, let's go with you. <laughs> it's so wet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for your support. And I want you to know that I'm very happy when I'm with you. And you are with me. I hope so. <laughs> and this is... What do you think? Yes, this is a trade center. But this is the biggest trade center located underground. The biggest one in the world and uh, this is the upper floor you see um, and the rest of floors are down and down and down and down and um, i would like to visit it now but not for for video my dear friends will you write me in comments would you like to see uh, the underground uh, mall and um, i will shoot a video with a great pleasure for you. Hmm? See you next time. I'm going to have some shopping. Surprise! I'd like you to take a look a little bit with one eye at the decoration of this underground mall. And now I am waiting for your comments. Do you want me to shoot a video for you? And what is this map about? Hmm? Do you have any ideas? <laughs>